FEBI recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. The popular 1.6 and 2 litre TDI engine, which is fitted to many Volkswagen Audi Group vehicles, has a thermal management system that is designed to shorten the warm-up phase after a cold start and channel the heat produced by the engine to where it can be utilised to improve vehicle efficiency. The heat flow generated by the engine is directed to the components of the cooling system by three separate water pumps, subject to load requirements. The cooling system comprises of three sub-circuits. These are the primary high temperature cooling unit, cylinder block, engine and transmission oil cooler, cooler thermostat, main radiator and switchable coolant pump, secondary cooling circuit, cylinder head, EGR cooler, electrical auxiliary coolant pump and heater heat exchanger, low temperature cooling circuit with turbo intercooler, intercooler, radiator and electrical auxiliary coolant pump. In this video, we are looking at the switchable water pump, which has been found to have many issues causing the engine to overheat. This can be due to a seized coolant control collar, bearing failure and impeller damage. The vehicle featured came into the workshop for a routine replacement of the timing belt. With the vehicle raised from the ground, all necessary covers were removed, followed by the auxiliary belt, crankshaft pulley, fuel filter and engine mounting. The timing belt cover was removed and the engine was rotated until the timing tools could be inserted into the respective positions. This is vital in order to ensure the correct engine alignment before the timing belt is removed. With the belt removed, it was inspected for any abnormal wear along with all other pulleys and tensioners before replacement. The water pump pulley was found to be excessively noisy due to the bearing starting to fail. The coolant was drained and the switchable water pump was removed. On inspection, we can see the switchable coolant control collar has become sticky in operation. This would restrict the flow of coolant, leading to overheating and engine damage if not replaced. The Phoebe replacement water pump is of a conventional design, which has been proven more reliable, ensuring a longer life and better functionality. The solenoid valve from the original pump must be removed and fitted to the new pump, as per the information supplied in the box. With the new water pump fitted, the complete Phoebe timing belt kit with associated pulleys are replaced and tensioned according to the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Then the timing belt covers were refitted, followed by the engine mounting, fuel filter and all hoses, crankshaft pulley and the new auxiliary belt. The coolant system was filled with fresh coolant. Once this has been done, the cooling system and the fuel system were bled with a diagnostic tool to expel any excess air in the system. The engine was started and checked for any coolant leaks before the vehicle was road tested.